Welcome guys again in this, in this new video on the game engine session. So in the previous video we've created our event handler class, our input handler and we were able to test a push of key. So when I push here you can see we have here saying we have the computer saying key A is being pushed. So that's that's what we did before. So we didn't want to handle this for each component. Uh, singularly so we, we did want to make it globally so that we could use it everywhere in the code whenever we want to so for now we did we did just create um, the event handler for the key when we push on the button for the keyboard when you push on any button we're gonna be handling mouse even later as we move uh, forward in, in this video series now in this video we're gonna be um, trying to use that input handler to make our player being able to move so that's what we're going to be doing in this video we're going to try to make our player run and we're also going to be changing the state of the player so he will not he will now not simply be idling he also be uh, be able now to run and for that i have this sprite sheet right here so let me open this and show you this is the same character but now with with a running the running sequence of image so you can find this with the uh, with the source code in the description below you can still go out and download that if you don't have like something like this but i'm not the one who created this i just downloaded it from from i forgot the name of the website so this is not me this is not my work and uh yeah you can still find a lot of sprite shit and stuff out there and you can use them for this for this uh, video series and you know you will come up with something good now um our running animation a sprite sheet has eight frames so we're gonna be creating now we're gonna be setting the state of our animation with eight frames but first we need to load that sprite sheet if you remember our texture manager right here so i want to load it right here and i'm gonna call it player run so that's gonna be the id and here I'll simply give the name of the file that has to be loaded. So if you guys don't know anything about this texture manager and stuff, you can still go on the playlist. The link is in the description below. We've created a texture manager class which loads and render images for us. Now we've loaded this, we can simply go ahead and use it and see if it's working before we even get started doing uh, other things. So, and um, where? Here, this is where we set the property of our, of our animation. Let's go ahead and put it. And uh, I want our player to start with the run. So I could have changed it here by setting the, the value of the texture ID to player run, but I just want to load it like that. So if I run this, this should normally create a run animation. You can see our player running, but he, he ain't moving right now. So um, I don't want to flip this anymore and uh, I don't want to let the player fall. So I'm going to comment the Y axis here so that we don't have that anymore. And I'm going to increase this, make the animation a little bit slower so we could see the player actually running. So you see now he's moving forward because we still have the X axis force applied to it. So let's increase that a little bit so we can run a little faster. So let's say go ahead and put like 0 0.8 right here as the time so you see the player can run and now with more speed so that's basically how uh, we can create animation and change state now we simply gonna what we actually gonna be doing right now is we're gonna be creating two button we're gonna be uh, using two button to move the player whenever this button is pushed then we render the player with this animation and when that order is pushed we render with that animation so what we need to do right here first of all we need to remove this we don't need this anymore it's working so we don't need to have it there but we still need to update this one right here the listing because that's that's it so we we can simply go um, to our warrior and we can simply paste that thing here so I'm going to be using A and D for moving forward and backward. So, in another way. So I'm going to copy another one also and put it here. And this is going to be D. 
so I don't need this text anymore so what we're gonna do is whenever we push this button right here we set our animation state to the to player run so we do it like this so did it like that I'm say player run let go ahead and put it here player run so I'm gonna copy that paste it here also but when there is nothing going on we want it to be idling so that's why we can simply go ahead here oh. okay we want it to be idling so we got simply gonna say here now we also want this force to be added only when the player is moving on, only when we push on these keys right here so we don't want it to be always pushing the player so we add the force when we push on the button so that should be it normally uh, if I haven't forgotten anything but one thing we still have to do is we want our player to start with the uh, with the state idle so we take the id idle so let me compile this and try this and see we have a problem we didn't add the input handler class on top here so include it yeah. so we can go ahead and compile it now and see there is something missing right here i don't know what it is ah this should be a string not like a value so we see this now if i push the d key see the player can move now there is something missing we should set the value here to six <laughs> yeah the six six frame because the idle animation is with six frame that's why you see we had some frame not showing up because you know the value was higher than what we the computer was expecting now you also see if I oh, I didn't compile it, sorry. I need to compile. If I move the player and I release the key, the player still move. See, because we we set the force of the rigid body to five, but we didn't unset it when the key wasn't when when the keys were, was released. So here we simply have to say. I don't know why this auto completion is not working anymore. Body unset. Force. And we have this. So, and I run this. And if I push and release, the player just stays. Now, even if I push it on the axis, and if I, even if I push the key A, we still move forward. We don't want that. So this is how we can deal with that. Open your rigid body. We could simply come here and put, put like a minus and we'll simply say minus five so it will be enough but that would be that would be handled but i don't want to do it this way i want like i want things that are more structural so i'm going to go in the physics rigid body and i'm going to define two constants right here for now define i'm going to say forward it's going to be one and i'm going to define backward gonna be minus one so you can do the same thing for up and down we won't use it right now but that that could also be important when you want to make like a map game where you have your player moving in four direction so here upward and downward not with a but o downward minus yeah it should be minus one to up and one to down so if i go back to my player since we already have rigid body here here i'll simply say multiply with simply say with forward so and everything will be handled backward so and if i just run this then i could move back and four that's the idea of that 
and uh, you see our player is not changing the direction of the of our sprite we want our sprite to change the direction so this should actually be backward right here and this one should be forward now it's because we have to flip our player when we going backward so we have to say SDL flip horizontally now we have a perfect animation of our player moving back and forward you can see I really enjoy it I like it it's pretty nice we have everything there and you know so thank you for watching this video on Metico channel so guys remember you can go out and support me on patreon and you can still become a patron and get access to early content you can even download the final source code which you see at the beginning of this video you can get that if you want but yeah for now you can simply subscribe like this video and uh, yeah see you in the next one ciao